All right, guys, welcome back to my channel, That Guy AB. As you know, um, right here with me, I have a guest, as you can see, and we have Shamika. And I will link her information down below, which is Sha underscore Meek P on Instagram. We're gonna talk about foreigners, or let me say, black people. Black foreigners. Black foreigners in Taiwan um renting because that has been a problem well the whole racism i would think so it's not all over in taiwan you experience it but some parts predominantly in taipei and in my area in Taoyen. my city taoya mm -hmm. right now because we have a lot of students that are changing schools or they're coming up to start their undergrad or masters yeah so they're right now trying to find apartments and it's kind of difficult being a black student you know because you know the type they especially for, for example if you can speak chinese they'll say oh you're taiwanese and then they meet you and they're like oh you're black okay mm -hmm. sorry i can't rent to you yeah and you're like it, wait why it's always something like the la oh the landlord feels like oh they don't want to rent because the culture is different mm -hmm. or they feel as if like oh um there's going to be a noise problem. A noise problem or... because that's something very big in Taiwan. They kind of feel like after 10, which is respectable, but they kind of go to an extreme to like even call in the cops Police, and they kind yeah. of feel like, oh, only them because it's can their culture. Noise, right. They can make noise because sometimes for us, we want to sleep, but then you could hear them making a lot of noise and right, it's like, right. oh, we can't really do anything. Mm -hmm. But if they hear us, so they're like, oh, close, shut, stop the noise, blah, blah, blah. But there was one situation where I came across one landlord and he heard it was boys and he was, wasn't was satisfied. He wasn't, he, you know, because he, he felt boys would be louder, you know, they might be drugs, alcohol. I don't know where this mm. misconception comes from that foreigners always tend to have these elaborate parties or we drink alcohol, we do drugs that's not always the case especially for black students we come yeah. here for one thing and one yeah. thing only yeah. whereas those situations that have blown up in the news have been americans mm -hmm. and i also feel like students because they come with the intention because taiwan is very um cyclical when it comes to um their culture they follow a lot of trends and they 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 tend to want to stick to like old time fashion stuff so like mm -hmm. they don't really make a lot of noise they're very respectable but foreigners come here with the intention like oh i'm going to university so my university life or experience should be like one one out of the box to talk yeah, right, about right, i right. should got all the fun i need and want and stuff well, for some people yeah yeah so then i feel like when they come with when that we, let me just say we, because I'm a foreigner. Yeah, when they come with that type of behavior and that intention and mentality, then it just spews across mm -hmm. the whole board for foreigners mm -hmm. and messes it up. Because even like right now, as I told you, like I have a friend who's trying to get an apartment over in my area, and like all the time, it's fine. You go to look at apartments and stuff, but then when they hear that, oh. They will ask you, oh, like, are you here working or what are you doing? But then it's like, no, I'm going to be a student. They're like, oh, like the tone just changes. changes they just the feel, yeah, changes. Like, you, like, they're like, mm -hmm. oh, well, I'm going to see if Fang Dong, like, would want to rent it to you still and blah, blah, blah. Like, something but always What's the comes difference? Out. Because if you're working, you're at work during the day, just as if you're a student, you're at yeah, school. But they feel like the students want to just party have fun do this do that and just be destructive so that's why they would say oh culture but then when they say culture what do they mean they can't because, be specific exactly but the, and then the only thing that we could relate it to is race black. is that the fact that we are black mm -hmm. um i've even had a situation where i was looking for an apartment for someone i had already agreed with the landlord to put to pay the deposit and everything mm -hmm. and the day of sending them the money oh 
sorry, I gave it to someone else. Who was it? A Taiwanese. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. You know, it's some wild white person or something. Yeah, like, it's, it's really. It's, it's, uh, uh, there, it's they're, they're just so there are really some good landlords. I've had yeah. the I've had the opportunity to deal with some good ones, and then I've had the opportunity of dealing with some real shady ones. <laughs> like my current situation uh -huh. and i've been looking at apartments and i came across one particular apartment which i liked and i was willing to move into but i was being pressured to move in at the end of july when i'm not when i'm not available until the end of august and i saw no point in spending one month's rent for an apartment that i won't be in and so so that, that was, wait so that one month would have counted as you already living there or that's just to mm -hmm. hold it me already living there but you would one not month's have been rent there. i wouldn't have been there because let's be let's be honest when a black person or let's say caribbean person moves into your apartment your apartment is going to get clean from ceiling to floor yeah but i don't know that they do not know that. They're We're gonna take care of your appliances. We're gonna always communicate if there's a problem, if something needs to be fixed. There's nothing to worry about. I think they have but, it like we always, it's like black, once you're black, much TV. once you're black, you just wanna party, you wanna have fun, you wanna they drink, you wanna TV. do this. But then honestly, it's another way I won't, you know? Because if you think about it, we are leaving our country. Some of us are leaving America, um, um, you know, South America, um, the Caribbean moving all the way over to Taiwan, mm -hmm. millions of miles away, leaving our family and our co the comfort of our own home to then come into someone else's country. We know we can't mess up. Honestly, it's really hard for a black person to get mm -hmm. um, rental in Taiwan, unless Especially the person- in Taipei, oh my God. Unless the person is already accustomed Custom. of dealing with black people, right. or they're familiar with the culture, as right. they say. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. even the other day, like, we looked at a spot, and me and my friend, like, like he, they sent me the link, and I looked at it just to tell them, like, the distance. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, this is a good spot. Um, they like it and stuff, so I say, get the person to call them mm -hmm. and talk to them, whatever. All of a sudden, Everything was good. The next day, they were like, okay, then cool. They're going to set up a time for them to come and see the, see place, the place and whatever. Uh -huh. And then they were then, surprised. When they found out is a foreigner, apparently, all of a sudden, mm -hmm. I don't know what transpired, sorry, what happened. To you. Oh, I'm sorry, but you know, we don't rent to foreigners. foreigners. And it's just like, oh my gosh. Like, I wouldn't be in a back and forth with nobody because I would have just like, you know, give me yeah. back my money. Let me just go look another spot. Let me look somewhere else. Too much headache. Yeah, Business it's too much. Not be and headache. I can't really deal with it. Mm -hmm. But let us know down below if you have ever experienced any sort of discrimination, whether it be <laughs> racial discrimination, whether it be um, gender discrimination or something. Even here, they do gender discrimination too. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, because they say oh only for females, mm -hmm. so that's just just basically discriminating against the oh. male because they feel like males don't keep. And even mm -hmm. on some of these places, they have oh female only. only. Why female only? I think it's only? because they think females are cleaner than males. And really? Like males would have like all the girls really? coming have in they, and out have of the you house. Ever? And, you want me to tell you something I realized one of my cousins were home, right? And they were like, did you ever realize a woman's closet is messier than a male's is, closet? That is, is not all, true. So why would you... My like, closet is clean. <laughs> I feel like if you're going to be renting, if you want to rent a place, yeah, I understand that you have um, rules and regulations mm -hmm. that you don't want. You don't want or would like certain things, but if you're able to make money from it once you speak to the person mm -hmm. and let them know okay then i have these rules in place yeah. if you break these rules or if you are not able to comply mm -hmm. then these measures would be taken mm -hmm. in place for you to be able to leave or right, for you right. to pay some sort of fee or something you know increase something put it under some sort of some some sort of fee where we we will be able to pay because yeah that's what the deposit is there for any yeah, problems then, you take it out of the deposit additional I feel like if you want to do that make it additional but then who says a student can afford that 
and then that's that's where you would know be in a line with your morals and what you really gone to school to do because not saying just for the black people but for also for foreigners you want a scholarship because for you to go anywhere else would be difficult or be hard for you to fund it so then you really got to watch your money when you're yeah. here. so then i feel like they should sort of increase some sort of um fee damn like an additional fee if anything that i say if you want to rent here these are the rules i understand it's your place but these are the rules still like if you want it you can have it but these things you have to abide by to some extent mm -hmm. so yeah um comment down below if you've ever experienced any sort of discrimination as i've said um and let us know all in all i don't know why but people feel uh i don't know i'm just gonna say i don't want people to feel like when they come to taiwan it's all bad or hard of course not but oh yo you know what some people as well too the other day i found it to be very ridiculous they wanted my friend to pay six months rent i see in in front up, up front? front so basically some, some landlords are like that i've never and that's ridiculous for a student i'm like but they are a student that makes no sense Holy. it's kind of like a dorm it's kind of like dorm because remember for a dorm you'd yeah, pay by the semester i would never put myself in that situation nah, I was because like, that's be too broke. much yeah that's too much and that if anything happens much. and you want to leave you can't yeah that's our talk for today that's it for yeah for the rest of the stay night stay tuned for the next video yep uh don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you for watching guys that guy ab and see you guys next bye time bye. peace love and patience peace. <laughs>